To gain access to the mysterious mass, surgeons must remove a portion of Carla's skull. But what Carla's surgeon finds isn't cancer. The surgeon found a pus-filled abscess in her brain. An abscess is a collection of immune cells, pus, and other material that accumulate in the body as the result of an infection. Brain abscesses are rare, but when they do occur and then rupture, they are fatal in 80% of cases. Brain abscesses are very difficult to treat and can be potentially fatal. When we first see Carla, the size of the scar, um, it's monstrous. It, I mean, it, it is literally the full side of, the, of her skull. For two days, doctors administer broad-spectrum antibiotics. Then the lab results come back. The doctor told us that the infection in her brain was caused by a streptococcus malaria. Streptococcus milleri is a bacterium commonly found in the mouth and gastrointestinal tract. Streptococcus usually causes nothing more than a sore throat. But in Carla's case, the bacteria have invaded her brain. To fend off the infection, the body sends white blood cells to attack the bacteria. The accumulation of dead cells leads to the formation of pus, which the body walls off by forming an abscess. This abscess is putting excess pressure on Carla's brain, and that is threatening her life. In some cases, Streptococcus milleri can enter the bloodstream and attack vital internal organs, including the lungs and the brain. Each year in the United States, there are about 10,000 cases of invasive streptococcal infection, of which up to 1,800 are fatal.